In this video, we're going to go over the psychology of cold calling. Now, this is really important here to keep in mind before you start doing any kind of cold calling. Because I can understand and I know how it feels to feel like you don't want to get on the call because you don't want to get rejected. You don't want to feel uh, like, you know, they're actually telling you to F off, to, you know, take a hike, all these different things. But once you really come to realize that the whole rejection thing and doing cold calling is really a mental game here. And once you really start thinking about how to properly position yourself, your whole mindset will change. So let's go right ahead and jump into this here. Now, one of the things to keep in mind when you're cold calling anybody, when you're getting onto any kind of call, when you're looking to speak with the prospect, it doesn't matter. Your mindset should be, I'm a professional expert in my field, right? You are a professional expert in your field. So your thought process should be, you're a professional expert in your field that has something of value to provide the other prospect, right? Your customer. And the other person on the other line is not above or below you. They are also a professional expert in their own field. And going into calls with this type of mentality will level out the playing field. And if you're talking to a receptionist or probably a, a gatekeeper, right? They are not really knowing about you or your business if you don't fully explain to them who you are and how you can help them. And you should really not take anything personal. Rejection is a state of mind that is based on how you react to what happens to you, right? So you must understand that not everyone is going to be a good fit regardless of how they respond. If somebody tells you F off or, you know, hey, this is uh, not what I'm looking for, I'm not interested, all these different things that you may feel are negative, are, uh, you know, rejection to you, right? It's oftentimes if they're taking that type of approach, there's typically something that is bothering them in their personal life that is causing them to respond that way, right? Because a real professional would tell you, hey, you know what? I really appreciate your phone call. Unfortunately, at this time, uh, that particular service or that product is not what we're looking for. Hey, I wish you the best, right? Because those kind of people understand that you're a professional and that you are just trying to do your job, right? But if you have people that are just being rude and doing all this stuff to you, you have to understand that it's a reflection of how they feel about themselves or what's going on in their lives at that current state, right? And it's not really about what happens to you. It's about how you react to what happens that makes the world of difference here, okay? And this is about everything and anything in life that ever happens to you, okay? Because you can be, for whatever reason, you can get into some kind of fender bender where you, you know, just happen to be distracted for whatever reason and you hit somebody in the back, right? As far as uh, a vehicle, right? You get into a minor fender bender, uh, you know, it's unfortunate. You guys pull over to the side of the road. That person is just completely, you know, mad, upset. They are cussing at you. They're telling you, hey, didn't you see me? What the heck? Oh my gosh. And they're freaking out, right? But you, you're looking at it from the perspective of, man, it's unfortunate. It sucks. But, you know, am I okay? Is this person okay? Uh, is, is my arm all right? Is my neck all right? You know, are my legs okay? All these different things where you are looking at the same exact experience, right? And you're looking at it from the different lens because, again, it's not what happens to you because anything can happen to two different people, right? The same exact event. And those two people will have completely different reactions, right? Because they're looking at it from different lenses. So when you can really learn to look at experiences, look at things that happen to you, looking at them from a positive aspect and just understanding, hey, it wasn't my time this time, perhaps next time I will get them, right? Now, another thing that a lot of people don't really understand the importance of is having a script being prepared, right? If you don't have a script, if you don't have something outlined at least, right, then you're just gonna go into a call and you might as well just like, you know, go into a rainforest or go into a forest without knowing where you're going to go, right? That's the same kind of strategy you're using, which is pretty much nothing, 
right? You're walking into a rainforest. You're walking into uh, an area that you're unfamiliar with, with no map. So once you are able to be prepared and actually have a script or at least a guideline so you can come into the calls and know what you're actually trying to achieve and know what you're actually trying to get them to, you know, take an action on, right? So one of the other things that I love about cold calling, especially when businesses are just starting out, is that it really builds toughness. Because if you cannot take rejection from a cold call, which you're not going to die, you're not going to bleed, right? I mean, you're not, anything is not going to happen to you as far as you getting physically hurt, right? The worst that can happen is that you get told no, you get told to F off, you get told to, uh, you know, no longer call or stop calling, whatever that may be, right? But if you're not able to at least take rejection from cold calling and build up that toughness, and if you're not able to, you know, understand that and go through that, then you're going to have a really difficult time overcoming problems down the road in your business, right? Because the cold calling thing is very minor in comparison to problems that happen down the road. So that's how you can build that tough skin, how you can build that toughness by, you know, getting into calls and understanding that you're going to get rejected, but it's just all part of the process. So I really wanted you to understand the psychology of cold calling, the kind of mindset that you want to have, uh, how to not take things personal, how to be prepared to make sure you have a script. And we're going to walk through a discovery script here and also a presentation script as well so that you are prepared and you know how to go into calls without you know not being prepared and without having to deal with a large number of rejection because you are prepared and an understanding that rejection is just all part of the game, right? And it's just a matter of, hey, let's move on to the next one. And, you know, for whatever reason, this one didn't work out, but I'm okay with that. I understand that. It's just all part of the process. So that's going to be it here for this video, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks.